Hello, and in this video, I'm building a sunken plaza and also a semi-traffic light controlled roundabout. This is obviously a like extension on the extension on the previous build where I built a raised plaza. So I'm taking it the opposite way and I'm sinking it into the ground. And in my opinion, a sunken plaza looks a lot better than a raised plaza. I'm sort of going all out with these new like plaza designs with the, the, the curbs and stuff like that. It's just, it's really interesting to me at the moment, like uh, pedestrianised areas and stuff like that. Now I built this whole um, like roundabout, central roundabout design with a bit of the detailing while I was watching uh, Skib's live stream. Uh, on Friday. Links in the description to his live stream. He does it every Friday. He has special guests on from people. Uh, last week he had uh, Pete McTavish and Armesto. And I've been on it before and people like two dollars have been on it. So you should really go check him out. Links in the description. It's a great it's a great uh, way to spend a Friday. How that sounds a bit uh, a bit sad, but you know it's good. It's a good time. So the general idea behind this uh, like roundabout is that it's like partially traffic light controlled. Now that may sound insane, but I've seen a couple um, like examples of roundabouts that are partially traffic light controlled due to the fact that they would have more traffic coming from one direction. So they require traffic lights on that uh, those directions to control it. But on the other ones, not it's not necessary, and it just slows traffic down. So that's the general idea behind this. It looks quite nice. It, I would have preferred to have got it maybe a bit more round, but like the general design of it couldn't really be round. It had to be this odd, odd shape, which looks all right. There's only one line that I didn't like too much because it was too too straight. It needed to be more curved. But I couldn't curve it without it messing everything up. And then I go, I go on, I go through detailing areas of the of the roundabout interchange. I'm using the new uh, smooth like uh, decals that are by uh, Moog. Moog, I think they are amazing. They're great because they're, they're such a small like line that they just they allow you to do really nice curves and. Also, his his faded uh, uh, like lines as well. They're really good. I believe they were in just in the game, and he found them and like in the vanilla game, and he found them and added them to. It, it would people to use them. So I'm just going through adding like the the like small amounts of detail to the roundabout, just so I can get a general idea of what this area is like. Like I'm adding this. Uh, hashed uh, like do not stop area just to add some color to the road otherwise it's a bit a bit boring I could also imagine this as a place for pedestrians to cross because obviously there's gonna be a sunken plaza in the middle of the roundabout and they need a way to cross so this whole area is like a like a crossing for them that's why it also has a traffic light because otherwise it would be difficult for the pedestrians to cross oh yes and I do the standard thing with the uh, Los Gecko's new I say new, I keep saying new, but they've been out for a while now. Los Gecko's raised walls with the proper asphalt. This took ages to do for all like eight, eight like lanes of uh, oh, it just took ages. It, it took too long and it was, <laughs> it was all right because it looked nice in the end, but it took such a long time. It was so annoying. So right now we get into the sunken plaza sort of bit and as you can see I'm using these these white curves that are really tall and really useful for this sort of thing because they allow you to build up big layers of um, like height compared to the small curves that uh, Ronix has which I'm using right now to build stairs which are perfect for building stairs but not so perfect for building like big planters to hold like plants and hold hold ground up and stuff like that 
so we skip forward a bit and as you can see I'm building the uh, like planters off site and then I'm moving them on with the move it tool into the area where I want them to go like because otherwise it does they do weird things to the like in the terrain I mean they do weird things with the terrain when you're moving them but at least you can move them all at, at once and it doesn't fully mess up I wanted to go a bit like um a bit I suppose different because I've done ones that go up but I wanted to do ones that went came out so I imagine it like it leans outwards and that's just like a cool <laughs> it's not really the defying gravity but it like gives the impression like if you're next to it that this big wall is leaning out with like plants on the top and it, it just looks quite like I suppose modern is the best way to describe it you could do some crazy stuff uh, with detailing like plazas or modern areas a bit like um the main series I think of when I'm doing this sort of thing is uh, Yuto and he's making a very uh, Astra Gear Astra Gear or Astra Gear one of those and he's making a very like pedestrian friendly city that would have a lot of areas like this a lot of plazas a lot of uh, open space where p pedestrians and people can just walk around and enjoy nature so the link to his uh, channel is in the description but if you're watching me you probably know who uh, Yuto is but his link is in the description as well I felt that this area in the middle was a bit too open so I used some of Ronix's curves to just fill in the fill in the space, and then I go with um, some plants and grass, just make it look nice. The only problem is I had a path running underneath uh, that I've completely forgot about, and people actually no, I don't think I did have a path, but the building itself like has a path where people have to get to it and the people walked through this and they also slightly missed the stairs which I didn't really plan on which is something you need to think about especially if you're using custom stairs you need to have the path just right and if you want to get them perfectly walking on them you got to raise the paths up and get the slope just right and it's a <laughs> that's a bit too far for me at, at the moment maybe if it was a something I don't know something big but I, I don't know it's just a lot of extra work in order to do it so now we get on to a semi raised plaza area which is right next to the train station which I haven't really showed much in this video but there's a there's a train station there because I just felt like um, I need to do, you do a train station I hadn't done a train station in a while these like uh, train stations are very modern looking and they look very nice here in this area but I had a big like leftover space on this side and I didn't really know what to fill with it so I built a raised plaza and I actually built this area while I was uh, live streaming on Twitch links in the description to my Twitch channel I see links in the description to everything but hopefully I put it there and I did this while live streaming it was good it was a good live stream uh, if you enjoy live streaming and you didn't know I live stream, I live stream. I live stream as often as I can, but it really just depends when, when I'm free to like live stream. And I normally live stream for maybe like maybe three hours on the on in the row, three hours in a row, just three hours, and then that that's about my limit. After that, it gets just too tiring to to live stream, because it is very difficult to live stream and play the game surprisingly difficult because you're trying to concentrate on the game and detailing and then you're also trying to concentrate on chat and people talking to you and it's just uh, very difficult but very enjoyable I'm not going to say that, it is very enjoyable so as we finish up the detailing we're actually coming very close to the end this has been a very short video as well but I just <laughs> I haven't had as much time as usual I'm trying to get a couple videos out just to fill 
not fill space, but just keep it going because I enjoy making videos, but sometimes they just don't take as long to build. Even though this did take ages, there's just not much to show because it's all very, very, very similar. So I just show the main bits, the main parts. But I do have a like special bit at the end here. It's just a, it's like a bus trip. Now I know a lot of people do like buses around their cities and stuff. So since I don't really have any cities, I do a bus trip around uh, the <laughs> roundabout. And I also do it a bit different. As you saw at the start with the cinematics, I had a Land Rover driving around and you were in a third person view. And I like that idea because it's like you're looking at the car as well. You get slightly higher vantage point. You get to see more. So that's what I'm doing here with this bus. You're slightly third personing above the bus and you're following the insection around. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.